Today we'll make a swag with many trees and a yard sign from Dollar Tree. Keep watching. I'm going to start off with this Christmas tree that actually I used as a Halloween tree. It's two of them combined. I got those from Dollar Tree. I've taken off all of the Halloween ornaments and now I'm going to remove the stand. I'll be sure to link that video so you can see how I put these together. I'm going to cut off the zip ties that are on there and I have three holding those trees together. I find these flat pliers get the job done really well. They can get down into places, get really close to the surface to cut those off. So I'm going to take the two trees apart and in all the places where I have pieces of glitter and little remnants from the table scatter from before, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. You'll never know once we get working on this little swag. If you want to use the green or can only find the green, that will certainly work too. I'm going to leave those flat on one side and then pull everything up and to the sides. You're going to use your tree that you use for Halloween. Just be sure that you remove all of the black and orange because it's not going to really go with our theme for winter and Christmas. Make sure that your branches are straight because with a pine tree, the branches are straight. Evergreen trees, I guess you could say. So if you wanted to do a teardrop swag, you would layer them this way. But we are going to do the swag that has greenery on both sides. Just going to trim those up so they're even. And we have to bind them in the middle. So we're going to take zip ties and connect here and here. And then you're going to clip off the extra. Okay, after we have that the way we want it, we're going to take this yard sign from Dollar Tree and we're going to take the, the sign stand off the back or the pick off the back. They come off fairly easily. Then we're going to start taking the branches. These are from some picks from Dollar Tree from last year. I'm going to pull them apart. You can use whatever type that you like. Some of these pieces are longer than the other ones. And I'm going to use my longest pieces in the center. Ideally, those would slip right in between those two poles there, like the other side did, but it's not doing that, and that's okay. We can still make that work. Then I'm going to place some shorter branches next to those, trying to keep that shape there. You can push those back and pull some of the white branches out to give it a more snowy look, which is appropriate, I think, for our snowman. We're just going to keep doing that until you get it looking the way that you want to. Now, here is an option for you. If you would like to use some ribbon, 
you can cut some ribbon to make some little tails to put wherever you want in your swag. On the ends, on the bottom, you'll see in just a moment how you could possibly use those. I always dovetail the ends. So that's what you see me doing now. This is wired ribbon and both of these came from Dollar General and they were $1 and $2 I believe. So just pinch them in the middle then you can take a piece of pipe cleaner or a piece of string right in the center and just tie it. Just a double knot. Nothing fancy there. Pipe cleaner, piece of jute, whatever you want to use. And so you make these almost looks like wings. The little tails is all you would have. And then you can place them wherever you like. But for me, I'm going to put those to the side because I think I'm going to go with something else. Now these berries came off the same pick as the pine. And I'm just going to pull those apart and start placing those in as well. I'm going to use this floral foam block to put in the center. I'm going to start off with some hot glue and press it down. Then I'm going to take this floral tape and wrap it around. I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to secure this, but this will work until the glue dries. And it's also something that you can puncture through when you're adding more florals to it, rather than using ribbon or something that you can't poke through. So this will work. And this is the base for our snowman's head. A little more security here with those pipe cleaners. I'm going to add some hot glue and a pipe cleaner and a little piece of scrap paper on there so that we can attach this to the block. Those foam blocks will sometimes shed and your items will fall straight off of it. So you need to secure it a little bit better and this way it wraps all the way around the base of that swag. Now I'm just extending out the form by pulling those white branches upward and I'm going to add some picks that I have cut down to make them a little bit shorter to go on the top. And you can do the same thing with the berries here. Then I go in the bottom and add a few pieces there. I'm just poking those right into that floral foam. And again, you want to put some toward the back, some a little more toward the front, and kind of incorporate them into that white. It gives it some depth. Trim down where you need to. I think he's looking cute. I'd like to do, I think, a little mini tree to go with this. What do you think? Yay or nay? Should we do a let it snow tree to match this? Okay, so if you want to add ribbon, this is how you would do it. And you would want to do it on both sides. And I have decided to make a bow to go underneath my snowman's head to look a little bit like maybe like a bow tie or a scarf, something like that. It's the black and white, looks really good. It's kind of winter wonderland, kind of woodsy. I'm just going to tie that right in the middle with some jute twine. I used one piece of ribbon to do that. 
No, it wasn't easy to see me tie it. I just made a loop and then pushed it up against itself. And that's where I got the tails. I'm going to fold the ends under about a quarter of an inch. And I want to make a little pom-pom fringe to go on there. So this is almost what's left of what I had from Goodwill. Some fringe I've had for a long time. And I'm going to add this on the back of that ribbon so that you don't see that white cording on the top. I want to do that on both sides. And then once you press that down, just be sure you don't have anything extending the edges because you want it to look nice and finished. So I'm just folding that in a little bit so it's not frayed looking. I'm going to add some glue to the string and a little piece of paper there to hold it in place. Trim it down, flip it over, and then fix my bow because I had it backwards. Just flip it over and fluff it out a little bit. And definitely if it bothers you that the print is upside down, then you can ensure that it is the right side up. Or you can use something that doesn't have any print on it that's just a pattern. I think maybe the plaid would be really cute here. If they have some plaid wire ribbon at Dollar Tree, that would probably be really cute. And I think that turned out cute. I wanted to do a little bit extra here on this hat, and I had some holly picks left over from Dollar Tree that I've been using a little bit at a time. I'm just going to place those down on top of the original areas on his hat. And then I've pulled three berries off of the little berry picks, and I'm going to add those on there as well. Careful not to burn yourself here. I looked high and low and they did not have any of these picks at my store this year. But these were very nice picks. They were on a long stem. So if you had any left from last year, this is a great project to use this for, I think. I'm just taking this little white marker. I don't think there's anything special about it. It doesn't even have a label on it. And I'm just going over the edges to kind of give it a, a little frosted look. Dollar Tree does make the holly picks that have the, like a cream colored edge around the leaves. So you could certainly use that if you wanted, but I like the green better for this project. Then I'm going to take a raffia bow that came off of something else I've done. And just glue that right in the center to give it a little, little more rustic vibe. I think one more holly leaf and berry right here will do the trick. I was really surprised at how well this turned out. It's exceeded my expectations for sure. What do you think? And this is definitely something that could be used beyond Christmas and on till, you know, until spring came. I think it's a nice little winter piece. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to all my newcomers. I hope you have a joyful day and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.